Is your life in shambles? Well, you've come to the right place. Seriously. After watching today's video, I can guarantee you'll have the urge to get out of bed and get your shit together. Literally. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah. I have so many things on my to-do list this morning. It's a Saturday, so typically on the weekends, I do like to dedicate a lot of my time to just resetting and refreshing and just cleaning my house. I know I recently did an end of year clean with me where I cleaned the entire downstairs, but I'm not gonna lie, I have been neglecting the upstairs, so I have to clean my bathroom, bedroom, and also my filming room. Honestly, I don't even know why I let it get this bad. One thing led to another. I was working, trying to stockpile content, take care of Atlas, and just kind of go through my day-to-day -day routine as a mom. I mean, it happens to the best of us. So today I'm gonna get everything under control and I'm gonna get it handled. I'm not really gonna do much makeup today because I am going to be cleaning, but I do have an appointment with Best Buy at two. I have to get my monitor checked out because I wasn't really filming much beauty videos last year. I didn't really take notice, but I was trying to film a beauty video the other day on my monitor um, portrait. Is that right? The video works in landscape, but we're trying to flip the monitor so that way I could see the video in portrait mode, but it's just not working. So he's gonna take it over there and get it checked out for me and I'm gonna go with Atlas. So I have about two to three hours to do a little mini clean before that appointment. Because I'm gonna be leaving the house, I definitely want to do a little bit of cover up. So I'm gonna take like half a pump of the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation and I'm just gonna kind of put it over my chin area because this is an area that's been breaking out a ton. Again, I really have no idea why, but I'm hoping my hormones get back under control soon. Another thing I really love to do, especially on days where I know I'm just gonna be in the house and I'm cleaning, is going in with some kind of hair oil and then I'll just slick my hair back in a bun so that way it still looks good in the event that I need to run out. And the hair oil I've been using is this one here. I bought into the hype over on TikTok. This is the Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. I got this from Target and I do it about once a week. I just let it sit in my hair all day. At the end of the night, I'll wash it out with a clarifying shampoo and then I will blow out my hair so today's the day that we got to oil the scalp and I also take this onto my ends just to help mend those split ends and this here is my little slick bag bun Super cute, right? Honestly, I don't love a slick back bun, let's say like on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just like not my thing, it's not what I'm into. So anytime you see me with the slick back bun, just know I have some kind of hair oil in. And this one's really good. I'll link it down below if you guys wanna check it out. But let's go ahead and jump into the clean with me because I feel like Atlas is gonna get up soon. So I at least want to get all the sheets off the bed and put them in the wash, so. Let's get it going, boo. At the end of every week, I reset my space by taking off all my bed sheets to toss in the wash. This is something I used to do every two days like clockwork, but we stopped letting the dog sleep with us, so I find that I don't have to clean them as often. By the way, if you don't already have a mattress protector, this is your sign to buy one ASAP. I got this one from Amazon. It's waterproof and extremely durable. I'll link it down below. Since I have three short haired dogs that shed like crazy, I find that hair gets trapped in all kinds of places. So I like to do a quick vacuum with my Dyson to get up all the loose pet hair and dander. Now usually I will just vacuum my floors with my Dyson, but there's something so satisfying about sweeping because you can actually see all of the dirt. Am I the only one that feels this way? <laughs> 
I'm moving the bed, I'm moving all the furniture, and I mean, it's actually kind of disgusting how much dirt was underneath my bed and behind my nightstands. Like, we're not even gonna talk about it. Mm. During the holidays, I spent most of my time shooting content in my bedroom, so I had a pile up of PR packages and random filming equipment that needed to be picked up, organized, and put away. I started breaking down boxes to put in our recycling bin and moving my makeup to my filming room. Here you'll see I'm just breaking down a few boxes so that way I can put them in my recycling bin and I'm moving all of the PR makeup that's in these bins to my filming room. After that, I just went in and I started sweeping and vacuuming again. I feel like I just do this on rotation, like clockwork whenever I'm cleaning. It's just so satisfying to vacuum and sweep and do all the things. After that, I really wanted to focus on this little nook area in my bedroom. I started wiping down my mirror with my method glass cleaner and I dusted off my lamp and my dresser and this is just so satisfying. Honestly, a clean space is a happy space for me. As for this area here, my main goal was just moving everything out of this space and back into my filming room. This year, I really want to separate my work life from my personal life, which means picking up my workstation as soon as I'm done shooting. That way, I don't have to spend all day every day looking at it. <sighs> we'll see if I can actually stick to that plan though. All right, you guys, so it is the very next day. I did manage to wash and blow out my hair last night. Honestly, things just got really overwhelming after we came back from my appointment at Best Buy. So I didn't finish like the little clean with me, but I did do a lot yesterday. I moved all of my filming equipment out of my master bedroom and I put it back in my filming room 
and it's actually looking a little cute in there. All right, so it's a little dark in here, but this is kind of what I'm working with. Oh, the lights are you on that side. It's really dark in here, actually. But yeah, I moved all the equipment back in here. I moved the table. I need to add um, a couple of decorations on the desk. And then this will be all set up for filming. I can definitely say sitting here in front of all of these lights definitely feels a little strange, but I'm excited to get back to posting regular beauty content. And I feel like I needed a designated space, not in my master bedroom because it was driving me crazy every time I woke up and I saw that mess. I would rather everything just be in its respective area, like the room I film in and be good to go. You know what I mean? So beauty videos are making a comeback. All right, so I'm just gonna turn all of this stuff off. It is so crazy how dark this room is. I definitely need to put some cans in here or something because that really is not cutting it. So one of the next things on my to-do list is to start cleaning my master bathroom. And let me tell you, on a scale from one to 10, it's like level 10 of being disgusting. I'm not kidding. I did let it get this messy on purpose because I knew I was going to be filming a clean with me, but I kind of have like instant regrets because it's like really, really bad right now. And when I say bad, I mean really bad. I promise you this space looks a lot worse than it actually is. Um, actually, I lied. Okay. It's pretty bad in here. One thing led to another and I kind of just let go of my touch it once method. But luckily videos like these remind me to organize and just reset. I like to kick off my bathroom cleans by taking everything off the counter and putting it in its respective location. That way it's easier for me to clean the mirrors and the counters. By the way, this is one of three bathrooms in our house that has yet to be remodeled. We've been holding off because our next project is a kitchen remodel. There's something really vain about doing a bathroom remodel before a kitchen remodel or <laughs> is it just me? So it's officially the next day and I've been doing this clean with me video for three days. I know what you were thinking. How is it taking you three days to do as little as I've done? And I honestly don't know how other moms film these videos. It's just been really difficult. I do try to clean whenever he's asleep because it's when I'm at peace. And now that he's like fully mobile, I just can't clean when he's awake like I used to. So I have to limit it to his nap times. He naps two times a day and then he's up, he's at it. I'm cooking, I'm doing things for him. I'm keeping him entertained and occupied. And then by the end of the night, Mama's tired, mama wanna go to sleep, mama wanna KO. So that's why it takes me a long time. But if you have any hacks at home for cleaning and just keeping up with things, let me know. I'm so new to this and it's just been really difficult because after three days, I'm done with the upstairs and then I have to go downstairs and start all over again. So I kind of feel like I'm cleaning every single day and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> even though cleaning for me is therapeutic. It's just been mm. suggestions. Let me know. Let's help each other out. For the tub area, I start off by removing all of my son's bath toys. He has a ton of them and I'm trying to find a better way to store them, but I go in with a little bit of Dawn dish soap here to clean his bath mat. One thing about bath mats is that you want to make sure you hang them to dry, otherwise they get all grimy and grody from all the trap moisture. So clean them and hang them. Because this is the only place I bathe my son, I am using Dawn dish soap with a little bit of distilled vinegar to clean the tub. He has pretty sensitive skin, so I try not to use harsh chemicals in this area.
The only thing I found to leave my glass shower squeaky clean is Dawn dish soap and distilled vinegar. I don't know what it is, but I just mix the two together, spray it all over, do a little scrub it up dub, and the key is to let it sit for about five to 10 minutes before rinsing it off with water. Oh, I'm telling you, it works like a dream, and you can thank me later. Listen, I'm gonna say this. I'm really not a toilet person. I hate cleaning the toilets, but these toilet wand refills are a godsend. I used to use the old school toilet cleaners, but I find these to be way more sanitary because you can clean the toilet with a pad and toss it right in the trash. You don't have to use it twice. It's just one and done. I'm finally to a point where I could see the end of the finish line. Tub is clean, shower is clean, toilet room is clean. I do want to get into this closet right behind me. I swear I go through phases where this is organized and then unorganized. I really hate this awkward corner closet, but it's what we have. A lot of the stuff in here I'm not using. So we have like some stuff for Atlas. We have hair care, skincare. This skincare stuff, I know for a fact I'm not reaching for. So I'm going to get rid of the majority of it and then just figure out what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of because there's no reason why I should have so much stuff in here it's almost overwhelming it's actually very overwhelming if i'm being honest let's just get into it I definitely want to do a little disclaimer because I know this is a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of the stuff is sent to me, like body care, skincare, hair care, stuff like that. So I'm not just going out and buying an excess of products and then just kind of wasting it. I'm testing out these products, some products I like, and then I'll find something else that I like, so I'll kind of forget about it. And other stuff I end up not liking, and then I just store in this closet for one reason or another. So I'm gonna go through it, and I'm just gonna get rid of old expired stuff and then stuff that is relatively new that I really haven't used. Um, I'm gonna give this to friends and family, so. Let's do the damn thing. Because I know some people are probably wondering what I ended up keeping. I did just keep some sunscreen. I have some cool down aloe vera by Sun Bum and some regular Sun Bum sunscreen. I do really like these. I also have some coochie stuff in here from the brand Pavo. I want to say that this is Abby Herbert's line. I have been testing it out and so far so good. I also have the whipped argan oil by Josie Moran and I really like it. I have some sensitive skin mirror in here, Aquaphor for Atlas's eczema, and then I have some other coochie oils, Venus. I have this razor bump thing, and then I also have some coochie spray. So in this hair bin, I have a couple things. I have the Got To Be Glued, which is perfect for like all my slick back hairstyles. K18, I also have a little bit of Olaplex in here. Some sea spray by the brand AG. Lisi's loves this, so I couldn't get rid of it. I have my It's a 10 Miracle Treatment, and then I have a bunch of other things in here. We would be here all day if I just showed you guys each and everything I decided to keep. Um, but yeah, this is a couple of the things. In my little skincare lazy season, I didn't keep that much. I'm pretty shocked. This was overflowing. I had so much stuff in here that I knew was very much expired, so I just got rid of it. I have a couple of cleansing balms. This one by Happy Dance is really good. I also am going to be testing this one out here by e.l.f. I have a Summer Fridays mask. 
I have a Tatcha moisturizer and also an It Cosmetics moisturizer, a couple of eye creams, one by Dermalogica. Well, that one's actually a serum. Um, this one by Skin Fix is really good. And I also actually really like this one by Summer Fridays too. All right, so I did a massive overhaul and I'm pretty happy about it. I know this still looks like a lot of stuff. Everything down there is just back stock on shampoo and conditioner. Mind you, remind me not to buy any new shampoos and conditioners because I already have some down here, but yeah, body care, hair care, skin care, like boob tape, tampons, all that. So I'm happy with this. All right, you guys. So this is what the bathroom looks like. It took me so long to pick this shit up. Like the perks of having a big bathroom is it's big, it's spacious, but the cons of having a big bathroom is that it's just a lot to keep up with and it's a lot of maintenance. Anyways, one of the last and final things I have to do in here is sweep and mop. I don't know if I told you guys, but the guy who's supposed to come put in my door here, he never showed up two days in a row, like over it, but I'm not gonna wait any longer. I'm just gonna do my thing, pick up my room. And when he comes, he's just gonna like get it all messy again. But that's just the way it goes. You guys ever see that meme where it's like, do you ever clean your house every day just to clean your house every day? That is my life. So I am actually fully aware that I just trapped myself in the closet by mopping everywhere but in here. So do I just sit in the closet and wait or try to jump to my bed? Y'all not gonna act like y'all have been here, okay? We're gonna make it to the bed. <laughs> made it. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I forgot there's all kinds of stuff here. Anyways, I am sweating, I am tired. I am gonna end this vlog off right here. It did take me a couple of days, but I did find it to be very therapeutic overall. We are leaving on a trip, and I don't know if anyone is like me who feels a dire need to tidy their house and clean their house before they go. In the event that someone needs to come here or something happens to us, everything needs to be clean, okay? But I'm gonna run. I have a couple of hours to pack. Um, well, I have all night to pack, but I have to go pick up Atlas from my mom's, and and um, it's gonna be a long night overall. If you guys wanna know where we're going, what we're doing, all of that, I will be vlogging it. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, like this video, and until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.